Here's part three of our conversation with the great Steve Hackett. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Steve Hackett's brand new album is Surrender of Silence. Go to hackettsongs.com for information on it and the tour. He's doing a Seconds Out tour. Remember that famous live album from Genesis? Here's part one of our conversation with Steve Hackett. George Matthew writes, my question is, what is it like working with Steve Howe in uh, GTR and why haven't you collaborated with more prog rock veterans? Ooh, well, I think that I have collaborated with lots of, of rock veterans. Yeah. Um, I could mention a few straight off. Um, Pete Banks, also from Yes. Um, Chris Squire, also from Yes. Um, we did the Squack It project together and, and he was on a lot of my things and I am on a lot of his things. Um, other rock veterans, are, oh, John Wetton. Um, yeah. Um, there are masses of people. I, I, it's frightening the amount of albums that I'm on. Uh, Stephen Wilson. Oh my God, uh, I, I'm not even thinking of, of you know, people like um, um, uh, Richie Havens. Um, but they're, they're, there are so many, and, and there are live albums too, of, of things that I've done with other people. Um, Paul Gilbert, um, Nuno Betancourt, Gary Sharon, um, John Paul Jones. Um, um, yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure who he's, he's listening to. I think a lot of the times there, there, there are people who have tunnel vision in certain things. Uh, I do with music sometimes, too. And Yeah, that one. Um, I remember I was talking to Nick Beggs about this ages ago that I had when we were playing in Japan. And I said to him, I've got an idea of doing a, a track called Relaxation Music for Sharks. And he said to me, that sounds like an, an album title, you know, maybe something that that. Um, that Frank Zappa might have used. Um, yeah. There was a sort of Zappa-ish quality to the title. It's an instrumental. Um, it's as if the Predator circles um, by stealth. And then that dark shape comes out of the water and goes in for the feeding, feeding frenzy. It, it starts very quietly, very spooky, influence of all sorts of things. There's some harmonica in there, um, orchestral instruments. Um, Little bit of influence of Bernard Herrmann, working with Hitchcock. Um, ooh, uh, we develop it orchestrally, and then the rock band kicks in uh, with Nick De Virgilio on on drums and um, uh, a Jonas Reingold on on bass. Um, and then it and then it really gets going, and 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 the playing is 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 fast and furious. Uh, it's a guitar workout for me. And then it subsides and floats off at the end and it goes off into a kind of um, the sound of aqua lungs and bubbles and mm -hmm. oxygen emanating through water. Wing Beats featuring, well, Durga, I know from the Pink Floyd. Uh, yeah. Is that her sister that's on there as well? That's right, yeah. Lorelei and Durga have both worked with Floyd. That's right, yes. Uh, Lorelei worked with the Stones as well. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, the, I think, you know, they've worked with, with a lot of people. Love the energy and the, the melody in that song. Well, thank Love you. It. Yeah, w Wing Beats is really our visit to Ethiopia put to, put to, um, to, put to song. Um, lots of singers, um, uh, mainly girls, um, and uh, a great job done by, by, by Roger pulling all of those strands together because there are a lot of different things going on. Um, wing beats, yeah, something about that, the beating of wings and the beating of those drums, which um, is something that, that Roger put together. Fantastic rhythm section of that one from Roger. There's, there is no bass as we know it, but there, there are fundamental notes underpinning it. The, the Devil's Cathedral, I, I felt like I was in a mad scientist. Uh, it had a nads on there, which I love. Uh, yep. Beautiful, perfect. like. A, a little zany, a little, lots of energy. Tell yeah. me about that one. One day when we were recording Rob Townsend, uh, Roger King and, and Rob, they were, they were playing together and, and um, Roger sounded like a cathedral organist and Rob sounded like 
like Miles Davis, and you had the sort of sacred and profane aspects, you know, this kind of sacred sounding thing. And with the influence of Masséan, who wrote um, demonic stuff for, 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 for uh, cathedral organs, um, church, or church organs, pipe organs, and um, they were doing this scale, which was octatonics. Um, and um, I couldn't work out the scale at all. And I said, that sounds really out there. We've just got to use that at some point. So maybe three years later, we actually turned it into something and used it as an introduction for this, uh, for this piece. Um, and it was a story of someone taking over an, another person's life. Um, and I originally I sang the vocal on this and I, I sent it off to Nat. I said, I think you would sound more sinister than me um, mm -hmm. on this. How do you feel like doing it? I said, it's, it's kind of in a Genesis style. Uh, it's very demanding to play. I've been rehearsing it today. I've been um, uh, trying to stitch all that together, doing it all in one go for the first time. But in a month, I hope to have it down, ready to play it live. <laughs> Surrender of Silence is the brand new album from Steve Hackett. Go to hackettsongs.com for information on that. It's a great record. And information on the new tour, which is called Seconds Out, which is named after, of course, the double live album from Genesis. He was still in the band back then. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. And buy a t-shirt. Help support our channel. There's all kinds of different designs for all of our channels. Check them out. Link in the description of this video. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Thank mm -hmm. you.